Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to do third grade math. And our topic is going to be subtracting decimals. Alright, so in this topic we're going to subtract decimals. Well, and don't worry about how hard this could be. It's not hard at all because it's the same thing as regular subtraction except we have the decimal point in between. No need to worry about that. It's fairly simple. Let's go straight to a few practice problems that we can do. Alright, so let's take 223.54 and let's subtract 11.23. Well, let's do what we do, what we did with regular subtraction, make our columns, and subtract. So, f 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 2 is just 3. Two, 3 minus 1 is just 2, and 2 minus 1 is just 1. Then we bring down our decimal point, and our answer 23.54 minus 11.23 is 12.31. That's all we have to do in subtracting decimals. Sometimes we may have to carry over numbers or borrow numbers, but not bad at all. We don't, we don't have to worry about the difficulty of this because we've already done questions like this before in regular subtraction. So let's do a slightly harder problem. Let's say we have 23.11. We're subtracting that from 11.20. Alright, this time we're going to have to carry. So don't get intimidated. It's not bad. So let's first break these up into columns. Alright, so we know we can do 1 minus 0, so let's do that. 1 minus 0 is just 1. Then we have to do 1 minus 2, but we can't do that because 1 is smaller than 2. So we would have to borrow a number from the 3. The 3 becomes a 2, the 1 becomes an 11. Now we can do 11 minus 2, and 11 minus 2 is just 9. Then we do 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is just 1. And then we do 2 minus 1 again, which is 1. Then we have to bring down our decimal point. So our answer to 23.11 minus 11.20 is 11.91. That's it. So the next slide is going to compose of two or three questions that you guys can try, or, try on your own by pausing the video. Or you guys can watch me go through them. So let's get started with our practice problems. All right. So here we are, we have a few questions that we can try. So first of all, let's break this up into the four columns that we need. Then let's do our subtraction. 9 minus 2 is just 7. 5 minus 3 is just 2. 9 minus 8 is 1. 8 minus 2 is 6. Then we bring down our decimal point. So we get our answer of 89.59 minus 28.32 to be 61.27. All right, so let's go on to our next question. So let's break this up into four columns, as usual. All right, so let's do our subtraction. 8 minus 9. Wait, we can't do 8 minus 9 because 8 is smaller than 9. So we have to borrow from the second 8. So this 8 becomes a 7. Now our this 8 becomes an 18. Now we can do our subtraction. 8 minus 9 is just 9. 7 minus 5 is just 2. 8 minus 2 is just 6. And 6 minus 1 is just 5. Then we bring down our decimal point. So we get our answer for 80. 68.88 minus 12.59 to be 56.29. 56.29. Now let's go on to our last question. We have 12.11 minus 10.11. So let's break them up into columns and do our subtraction. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0 again. 2 minus 0 is 2. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Then we bring down our decimal point. So our answer to 12.11 minus 10.11 is just 2.00, or just 2. And that's it. 
that's for, for this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video, and have an awesome day.